guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Courtney. I post videos about horses, dogs, cows, exotics, and more. And if you've been following along the journey of my golden having um, ACL surgery, she's three weeks post off now and she's doing really well. She's getting more x rays tomorrow, so next video I'll update y'all on that. But this video is all about reptiles and my favorite reptile products. So if you don't know, over on my Instagram, Farm Life with Court and Reptile Zone, I am a pet influencer, so I get gifted products and I try them out and review them and post pictures for the company. And I do have all kinds of reptile products to post to tell you guys about and review. These are all my honest opinions and reviews on these products. Um, I have some for dogs, cats, horses, and cows too, if you want me to do a video on those products. Um, but right now you're probably going to meet, you're probably going to see every reptile in my, yeah, you're probably going to see every reptile in this video because I got a product for each of them. So you're going to see everybody in today's video, um, with some exceptions, Sangria's pretty hungry, so I don't know if I should get him out right now because he is, today is feeding day and he gets kind of moody on feeding days, but we'll see how his mood is today. And we're going to go ahead and get started on today's video. So, if you are excited, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel down below, and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss when I post. I got stung by a wasp yesterday. My head is so swollen. And it hurts. But we're going to get started. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at ReptileZone and Farm Life with Court so you don't miss updates on animals or anything like that. So, let's get started with the first product. I got this in purple for Tamia, so I'm about to put her on here real quick so you guys can see, but she is in love with this bed. I'm going to post pictures of her, but she sleeps on this bed almost every night. She loves it. Um, I have had to wash it twice, and it washes gray, it dries gray, it keeps its shape after washing it, so it's pretty perfect for that because I was worried it wasn't going to be washable, but I'm going to get her out so you guys can see her on this real quick because it's so cute. <laughs> She is so pretty, you guys. Look at her. Say hi to the camera. So let me show you guys her on her bed. Like I said, she does sleep on this bed almost every night. But here she is. She loves it. It's so comfortable for her, I imagine. And I know she's going to love it because she loves getting on my bed and sleeping with me some night. Not all the night, but she'll cuddle with me till I put her up. Um, she, her head's shedding, so... That's all some shed right there, but she is so cute. She loves her bed. As you can see, the only thing that hangs off is her tail, and this is the large. So they do have an extra large and an XXL in this bed if you have a bigger lizard. I'm going to put wherever these products are from down below, but this is a cute bearded dragon bed. So sorry, I had to quit and go um, help make dinner and then go um, feed. So, um, here is Mr. Cuddles on his bed. So he got green on his bed. And I love this bed. I love it. I kind of love this one more than the purple one because I think the green is really cute on him, with him. And it really looks good on in his enclosure. It's like his theme. So I really like the coloring for that. Um, here's his close-up. He sleeps on here sometimes, too. I will go ahead and post pictures up. But as you can see, he fits it pretty good. And he's a big guy. And it fits him pretty well. And, like, these were a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be. Um, let's see him real quick. He's, like I said, he's a big guy. Big dude. <laughs> I'm about to let him go in here and roam around while we go to the next one. By the way, here's Olaf. He turned nine years old yesterday. Him and George... So, from that same company, we got these cute, cute things, and I cannot wait to show you guys what these are for, because I am obsessed with this. So, let me get Twix. So here is Twixie. As you can see, she's so big. She's fired up on this side and fired down on this side. It's like she's split. But um, here is her spoon in this cute bowl. So basically, if you didn't know, crested geckos eat powdered food that you mix with water and you feed them. So um, I can. I've been using paper plates and spoons. 
So, I have been having to use paper plates and spoons to feed them with, but this amazing bowl, which is washable, and this amazing spoon, which is washable, I can mix the food up and easily just feed it to them like that. So, I love it, and look how pretty. So pretty, and I think Twix really likes them. Um, it's so much easier to feed them off of. Here she goes. Where are you going? <laughs> So cute. So the next thing um, that is actually Twix is from the Sim Company is this cute vine. So you put this in their enclosure and they have little clips and I had to unclip it. They will climb all over the vine and she loves this vine. Um, this is the first vine I actually have had that stays up on the enclosure, which is really great, I think. Here's what she'll do basically. Better model it for you. She will just crawl all over this little vine, all over her enclosure, back and forth through the walls, and she quite literally loves it. <laughs> so the next things are for Coconut My Leopard Gecko. As you can see, I've had her, you guys, for a year. If you want to go watch the video where I first brought her home, and you can see how tiny she was, but she's this big now. She is a big girl, but um, if you didn't know already, that you can potty train lizards, and um this is a litter box so this is one that i haven't used yet she's got two the other one's really light purple but it's used she's got like seven piles in her little box i have to clean that off but as you can see she you put this in their enclosure and they literally will go use it so she uses her litter box just like this and she'll use it and she'll pee and poop in it and it's really easy to clean up and she's probably the most potty trained animal I have, a um, reptile I have because to me it's not potty trained. Mr. Cuddles kind of sort of is but she never misses her litter box. So love, love that. Next is this cute calcium dish. I have another one in there but so in use but you put calcium in here and she will lick the calcium out the next is this cute ledge to feed pangea off of which like i said is for twix and firecracker so super super cute say bye to coconut this is the last she'll be in the video <laughs> i got this cute food and water dish i really don't haven't used this yet but it would be really cool to put some salad in here for the beardies or some worms to feed coconut out of. But haven't used it yet, but it's amazing. I love the color. Absolutely love. So for the next one, we have Firecracker and his product. There he is. He's in there. So this is a bubble loft. So you put this up on the side of the enclosure and they can crawl in here and hide. And Firecracker loves hiding in tight places. That's like his favorite thing to do. Um, so like I said, he loves it. He's in here like 99% of the time. Either this or his toilet paper roll that he loves to lay in. But um, there you go. It's really cute and I love the color. Like I said, my theme for most of these items was purple, pink, or in Mr. Cuddles' case, green. See if I can get him out to come out and say hi real quick. Come here, baby. I don't think he's wanting to come out and say hi right now. Come here. There we go. Come say hi. I'm going to let him go. Let him be. But there's Firecracker in his bubble loft. Like I said, today is feeding day and Sangria gets really, really hangry. So I'm just gonna show you what he got and then I'm gonna show you him. But I got this pretty pink hide for Sangria. It's so cute. I have this at his cool end of his enclosure. So he still has his black hide. He still has his black hide on his hot end. And then his pink hide for his cool end. I'm about to go get him so you guys can see him and then I gotta feed him because he has been really hangry. He's missed his last two feedings because he's been shedding. Especially after shedding, he looks so handsome. Look at that coloring. Oh my goodness, he's so pretty. He sees himself in the camera. So I'm about to go ahead and feed him and I'll let you see him again in 48 hours after his food's digested because you can't touch them for 48 hours after eating because their food won't be digested. For everybody that does not see, went to see a frozen thawed rat getting eight skip 
to this time lapse. I'm gonna give y'all a minute to skip. <laughs> and like I said, this is a dead rat. So the rat doesn't feel anything, but let me go show you guys him eating. There you go, you guys can see him eating his food. There's the rat. <laughs> He'll hold it for about 30 minutes and then eat.